Hello everyone. Um, long time no see. Today I will introduce a pencil experiment simulation in Calculus. And uh, here is the animation of the result. And on the left side, this is the um, that's stress of the sample and the right half is the reactors and displacement curve and we can see this sample can stand the maximum load is about 44 kilonewtons so next uh, I will introduce how to do the simulation in our queues. <clears throat> First let me introduce this MDFR and as we can see this is a 2D model and in the part I can check the type of the part. Here we can see it's Asymmetric deformable part. So this is a 2D asymmetric model. And the uh, dimension of this sample is uh, is I don't call with the uh, ISO uh, or STM um, sample dimension. And we can measure the distance the whole length is about is about 165 millimeters and, and the left size and you can create the create this part with the dimensions from the STM and sample dimension. So uh, the second procedure we need to assign the material and property to this part. Here we create a material and we can see here this material include the elastic property, plastic property, density, and ductile damage parameters. So first, the density is about the uh, uh, density of steel, and elastic is is two hundred ten. Uh, gig pass and the portion region is 0 0.3 and then the plastic parameters here is the yield stress uh, is about 311 meg pass and then there is 10 rows about the stress strain uh, this is the real stress and real strain the curve of stress and strain and, and then we need to uh, we need to defend the duct damage because we want to see the uh, break animation so we need to del delete the field element so we use the ductile damage here and it can be defended here damage for ductile meters, ductile damage and then this is the parameters of ductile damage the first is fracture strain and the stress translality and here is the strain strain rate uh, <coughs> then we need to defend the damage evolution this is the um, uh, stiffness degradation um, process of material. So here we need to use displacement 
and linear softening process and the displacement at a value is 0 0.5 and the meaning of this parameter is <coughs> um, the displacement of the element from uh, damage initiation to fail so uh, the real displacement of a uh, of the fail displacement is 0 0.5 and multiply uh, the element size so this is the material model and we need to create a property with solid homogeneous section here and assign the property to this part and then it turn green so in the assembly we just make it an instance and then step when create a dynamic explicit step and the time period is one second and here we use mass scaling and the target increment is about five uh, minus seven so uh, here we need to output the history curve of the reaction force and displac displacement so we need to create a reference reference point here so we create the uh, coupling in the interaction here and coupling this part with the reference point and during the physical experiment this part is about is clamped with tools so here we need to create a set with the reference point and we can see here we have created a set and this set is a node of reference point so then we can create a history output for the for this appointment here we choose the set and the rp represent the reference point and here we take the translation and reaction force RF2 it means the reaction reaction force and displacement in the y direction so then we can turn into the load module and give it a boundary condition and in this simulation we just need to fix this part and the bottom part is fixed with the clamps and the top part is clamped with the tools and also uh, um, apply, apply a displacement at the reference point and we can see the <coughs> in the y direction we give it a 15 millimeters displacement and a amplitude curve and the amplitude curve is a, a ramp ramp we can see here. So
so this is a ramp land so uh, in the mesh part hash module we need to ascend the element type and here we need to choose asymmetric stress and in the element deletion we pick the yes and give the max degradation about 0 0.97 it means that the element will be deleted when the all the four material points reach the um, zero nine zero point nine seven, um, and it uh, damage uh, parameters. So then we can submit this job and. and submit it to calculation uh, it just uh, take a few minutes to complete this simulation and we can check the result here and here we just see the 2d uh, model and we can propagate with the sweep function. So here we can see this sample in 3D dimension. And we can get rid of the mesh lens so we can more clearly then this is the stress counter and we can see the animation and I will create a new viewport here and in this report viewport I will create the reaction force and displacement curve. Here we have defined the history output of RF and displacement. And I will plot these two curves and then I need to combine these two lines. So, sorry, I just need to operate on xy data and then use the combine function we use u2 as the x axis and then rf2 as the y axis and plot it then we can see this reaction force and displacement curve also we can create uh, we can and make it a uh, animation here and we can adjust the uh, color of the curve and the width of the curve or in red line so this is the result just look like as the one we reached at the beginning so with this tutorial we can learn how to do a potential experiment simulation with abacus so if you are interested in abacus simulation um, you can go to um, you can go to this sorry <clears throat> you can 
and go to my website uh, as here you can search for one of my um, tutorials and then click the uh, website and the <coughs> introduction and you can open my website There are many videos we can to learn. There's all video tutorials about our course CAE, and some of them are attached with the MP file. And you, if if you are interested in in them, you can pair for them and get the IMP file and I will keep it updated um, thank you for your watching and please subscribe my channel for long with me together